All right, what's up, everybody? It's your girl CC with Open Book with CC, and we are here at TFP's release party in LA. And I got the Mr. Famous over here, Troy Marshall. Y'all say what's up? Hey, what's up? How's everybody doing out there in TV land? Yeah. Oh, okay, I haven't heard that in so long. That was me and my mama network. Okay, TV land. All right, so let's talk about what you do, sir. Uh, I do marketing promotion for recording artists, so I work with Chance the Rapper, Little Dirk, Rod Wave, okay. uh, Blast, who's out here from Los Angeles, Eric nice. Eric Bellinger, who's out here from L.A., so okay. I work with a lot of recording artists. Nice. I'll help with the marketing, the promotion, radio, all that good stuff. Nice. Yes, okay. ma'am. So what do you look for in artists? Um, I look for creativity. Okay. I look for that wow factor, and I look to see if they have great and incredible music. Okay, there you go. So who's been your favorite artist that you've worked with so far? Girl, woo. <laughs> Uh, well, well, just so you know, I've been in the music business since 1993. Okay. So my first three acts were Mary J. Blige, okay. What's a 411, Joe to see Forever, My Lady, and Immature, Never Lie Again. Okay. Right. To currently working with Chance the Rapper, who has a new record called The Highs and Lows, mm -hmm. Little Dirk, what, what Happened to Virgil, mm -hmm. Rod Wave. You know, so okay. it's like it's really hard to pick. <laughs> Yes, you know, yes. uh, Lady Gaga is another one mm -hmm. of the great accolades yes. that I did through my life doing uh, being at Interscope Records. So uh, okay. yeah, it's hard to pick a favorite. But oh. if I had to pick one, <laughs> Mary J. Blige is my favorite. Oh, okay, because I was going to say, and, that's queen right uh, yeah, there. No, that's okay. the queen. And I've been working with her since What's the 411 to currently to this day with certain projects that she has. So, okay. you know, I, I, I love Mary J. Blige to death. That's, mm -hmm. my, that's my sister. Oh. I We're both that. Capricorns, both yeah. our birthdays in January, so yes, I love working with her still to this day. So with the music transitioning the way that it is now, what's your take on that? Because it's like, it went from real love to wow. How do you feel? Um, I, I think me, there's still some songs that get made today, like, like with Future, mm -hmm. Drake, Beyonce, they still make songs that we want to hear mm -hmm. the next 15, 20 years. Yeah, and then you have what I call TikTok rap that's out there. It's here today, gone tomorrow yes. type of thing. Yes. So you just have to pick and choose which one is going to going to last. You know, um, people who have that overnight success, it's usually hard for them to get that second or third single under their belt. People who grind and go through the steps of really developing their music, developing their artistry, developing their craft, they usually have a little bit more longevity. There you go. Okay. So in honor of Green Cadillac, we're asking everybody, what's your favorite old school car? Uh, my favorite old school car is the GTO. Okay. I love it. it man, well, well, there was, there, I, I went to Bourbon Day High School in Watts. Okay. And I had a dear friend of mine, his name was Harold Edison. Mm -hmm. And Harold Edison at 7.55 every morning would come around that corner in that GTO <laughs> blasting Planet Rock. There you go. And that was our theme song. <laughs> okay. They kind of aging myself, but just so you know. And and that GTO, man, I love that car. And we, yeah. we used to go everywhere in that car. It's one of my best friends in the world. Okay. You got it to your collection? Uh, no, I don't okay. have it in my collection. Okay. I'm a Mercedes guy myself. Oh, excuse me. So I, I keep all the Mercedes. <laughs> now, now, I got Mercedes left and right. So, there no. Yes. I love that. All right, y'all. This is it right here. This is CC. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.